Hey guys, welcome back. What do you think of a church based around a pig? See that? Oh, I spent like a whole minute staring at that last time. You should remember it. We're in a church, St. Dunstan's. I think that is. This is. I don't feel safe in this church one bit. And if I remember anything about churches, you're supposed to feel pretty safe in a church. Um, we got into this church after having gone through some real terrors. <laughs> we had to get a battery, something like a battery, to put into a truck and then crank that truck just out of the way so that we can open a gate. That truck was clearly put in the way of that gate so that I wouldn't be able to get in here. So, whomever is putting stuff in my way is probably kind of irritated with how I'm still progressing. No doubt, I would be. I'm gonna... I'm g uh, I don't... Uh. <laughs> Remember I just said, don't feel safe? Still don't. Oh, gee. I don't know who it was that just screamed, but it wasn't me. Might not, it might be me later, I don't know. They flocked to us now where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives. That was uh, Father Jeremiah's journal, by the way. October 1st, 1899. Now drawn by warmth and winter, by the food that Mandus distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks among them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico, it is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and from the, from the confines of his sick bed, as he is often chained to, he conducts some of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. That's interesting. Okay, we can make a new assumption that... <sighs> that Mandus may have created his workforce. That's interesting. I'm making that assumption. What is this? Why am I suddenly able to pick a- Oh, it's a door handle. Is it a door handle? It's awfully well lit. Okay. I can't pick anything else up, so this must be important. Or No, it's a candle. Sorry. Can I light as a candle? I can move you, too. What are you, bellows? No. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Just in case. I don't know, there's like so little else that I can grab and carry. I feel like I ought to, you know, as a matter of responsibility. At least honor the people who created the physics engine. Um, yeah. After having done a little bit of reading about the previous Amnesia title, it turns out that some of the workers, some of the, the uh, some of the monsters were actually former servants. So I wonder if that's not the case here too. That Mendes created his workforce to work in his factory. And, um... Well, now everything's loose. Everything's gone wrong. Everything's terrible. Can I, I'm, I'm gonna try again. No, I cannot light the candle. This is curious because I haven't yet seen a particular spot where a candle was missing. Yeah, that is very curious. Whoops, sorry. I am now going to open a door. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting way to open a door, huh? Okay, going down here is probably not the type of progress I need. However, that looks pretty interesting over there. Let's go see it. Ah, yes. At this point... In the game, I have no idea where I am supposed to run if something were to go wrong. However, I can have a little bit of confidence that if there is no place to hide, there is nothing that's going to come after me. At least that was the case before. 
Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Man does sure had some ideas. He sure seemed like a different person, too. I don't know. I wonder if there might have been an amnesia elixir concoction sort of thing that, uh, much like in the previous amnesia title, you know, uh, Daniel, the protagonist from the first game, he took some amnesia stuff so that he could forget about everything and kind of allow himself to get onto his ghastly charge of trying to murder his former uh, co-worker, Alexander of Brandenburg. I wonder if that might not be, uh, yeah, the same type of thing happening here. I mean, he must have done some pretty terrible things in his, in his um, whoops, in his pursuit of progress. His pursuit of maybe excellence of, of uh, I don't know, I don't know, his pursuit of something. Maybe in his wild attempt to save his family. Because it sounds like something terrible happened to them. Something along the lines of disease, perhaps, or... Maybe that's what happened to the mother. I don't know what happened to the two kids. The two kids, I mean, I'm following... Perhaps memories of those two kids. Now, but, uh... What happened to them... Uh, is an uh, interesting question. I don't know why I'm carrying this around exactly. It just w it was well lit. How about I remember? I'm going to put it right in front here. It's kind of hard to see, but... Oh, wait a minute. Do I see, possibly? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, boy. Was I fucking right about this? Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Okay. We... Man, nobody told me to do that. I'm kind of glad. I'm really glad. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them. Nope. Can't do it. Gonna... Just in case. Y'all are going to get super tired of me saying, just in case, I'm going to close this door behind me because I know what's supposed to happen. Well, don't second guess me. I do know what's supposed to happen. What generally happens... Is that a monster shows up. And at least having the door behind us means that he can't just walk right in. He's going to have to break the door down. And then I can hide in a corner the way I always do. And then just let my fate befall me. Now I wrote something down. I don't know why I don't just talk to myself. It appears I have no choice. I must... Thus I descend. And may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my bedlam. And I am to be cast as Matthews? Then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys, and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Yes, I see. Oh, I do see. My, 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 my. Um. I wonder... Jeez, how far does this go? How much was made to hide other things? This church, much like probably the, uh, the mansion, probably just a front for a whole world of machinery. And who knows what that machinery was for? We're still going to find out. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, boy. I dare not turn the light on. Just in case. Boy, is it dark in here, though, huh? 
Okay, I'm going to use the light. But on the first indication that there is something that might be following that light, I'm going to turn it off. That's it. Okay, we got a sign over here. Silence. Do not startle or upset the acquisitions. Maybe I should leave the light off. I don't know if I want to see whatever's in here that I might be able to startle with that light. That sounds like it's a baby. Oh, something's gonna scare the crap out of me. I bet you. I bet. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Oh, yeah. Look at these prisons. Oh, okay, at least this one goes down. Whew. Oh, it's too dark. Too quiet. Ugh, I don't like it. Ah. Yep. I guess I'm gonna have to do it. I guess I'm just gonna have to have some light on. But I can actually... In the last game, it appeared that whatever might have chased me at any point had poor enough vision that if I stayed in the dark, I was kind of fine. <laughs> These final thoughts. <laughs> They're really laying it on. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What bestitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found. Yet I leave you this, scrawled in the malodorous half-light, whilst my tormentor shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in their gloom, where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is, finally, my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. Yeah, great. Sounds like there's a kid down here. This is no place for a kid. Blech. <laughs> Dreadful. But man. There are people in here. There. I don't know if I'm listening to a conversation that's happening in the stairwell in the building I'm literally living in right now, or if there is something happening further on. Is the sound design so carefully tuned? Maybe so. My, 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 my. However, whatever it was that was in that cage just before, whatever sir was in that cage just before, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, great. Yep. kind of figured something was up as soon as I saw that little flicker. I didn't need to think twice. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna assume stay out of the light. That's what I'm gonna assume. Eesh. <laughs> However, I can't see where I'm going. Uh, I can't tell that there's something in front of me? Yeah, I'm gonna guess that there's something in front of me. Okay. How about I go over here? Yeah, I figure... Ah, oh, Jesus. <sighs> Somebody needs to get their baby some love. Ah, oh, this is so uncomfortable. Okay, no, I gotta, I gotta be around here somewhere, or something. Dare I get it? Yeah, well, I'm kind of in it right now, huh? <sighs> There's no avoiding the light, but I feel like it's the wrong thing to do to actually get a, get in with it. There's, uh, yep. Oh boy. 
Is the sound moving? Ugh. If I'm in the dark, will it see me? It is coming up closer. Oh, no, it found me. No, if it, no, no, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Nope, no way. <laughs> okay. <sighs> all right, all right. Man. <laughs> Finally. Finally? Really? Oh. Oh, I see. What kind of unlikely scenario is this? That I might be captured? Hmm. Captured and put into a cage and then allowed to leave at any time. Can I eat this? It might have been quite a long time since Mendes has eaten anything. Okay, well, um... Uh, I wonder if this had to happen. I'm willing to bet yeah, actually. It's probably to everybody's better interests that they familiarize themselves with failure, with uh, with the, uh, the risk involved with walking around here. Oh boy. Really dark. I don't much want to use my light again. Just in case. Is that gas? Looks way worse than it probably is. Have I found myself back? Yeah, I'm back in a... Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, before we get back into this, just in case I fail again, I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you for joining us. In the next episode, we're going to try to get past this point. Yep. Or maybe I'll find myself a little bit past it uh, at the beginning of the next episode. Anyhow, rest easy. <laughs> You're safe. Maybe I'm not, but... <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks again. See you later.